What's up everyone, hope you're all doing well and good on this uh, Sunday evening. It's about five to six, something like that, and I'm absolutely starving. So uh, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago in one of my way day videos that I had an idea for a new uh, kind of video series, which was about making Slimmy World friendly meals, or just meals in general with um, majority frozen ingredients, or at least like simple um, or pre-prepared ingredients just to make it simple, sim um, as simple as possible. I can't get my words out today. Um, so we're in, in my kitchen uh, and I just thought we'd, we'd do Diet Coke chicken tonight. We'd start, or oh, Diet Pepsi chicken, sorry. You can do co Diet Coke, obviously. You can do Diet Coke chicken, you do Diet Pepsi chicken, Pepsi Max chicken. Um, you can do Fanta chicken. I've done Iron Brew chicken in the past, which was a bit weird, but tasted really nice. So it's up to you. I've gone for Pepsi Max just because I like Pepsi over Coke. So, um, so that's the reason. <clears throat> So it was just to see if, because I'm one of these people that um, I don't plan meals particularly well. Um, and if I want Diet Coke chicken, it's often a, a kind of, a, I'll get home from work and go, oh, I really fancy Diet Coke chicken. And then I'll have none of the ingredients. So rather than having to then go back out and buy fresh ingredients or buying fresh ingredients and freezing them and then at least having to know a day in advance because you need to get your chicken out and, and defrost it, obviously. I thought if you just used all frozen ingredients, would that work as well? Could you even do it? Uh, and I think you can, I think it's, it shouldn't be too difficult and that's from a pleb like me who can barely cook anything. Um, but what we're going to do is, because the chicken's frozen, I did actually try and kind of have a go at this. And this is, this is the frozen chicken from Iceland. And I tried to kind of brown that off first, like it says in the recipe, and it, it does produce a bit more smoke um, than I would have liked. That's probably just me, um, but what I'm going to do instead is cook the sauce and everything first and then put the frozen chicken directly into the sauce. I figured it's fairly safe because the chicken's already cooked and it'll just be a case of kind of re uh, re -tick. That might be absolute rubbish, but in my head it makes sense. Um, so we'll go over to the table and we'll check out the ingredients that we are going to be using. So most importantly it's the chicken breast and I bought this from Iceland. It was five pounds, which might seem like a lot, but it is a, a kilogram's worth. And if you look, it's got a long time to run. There's still like nearly a year left. Uh, left on it, so it's nice to have in the in the fridge. Sorry, not in the fridge, in the freezer. And then you just think, actually, I really do fancy diet coke chicken. It's there, um, so that's what I've gone for. And then just for the veg, you can vary this. the The ingredients that I've got from the uh, from the Pinch of Nom website, uh, not the Slimming World website, and I can't remember why I selected Pinch of Nom, but I think that's the one that I used last time. So I just went with what what was familiar. So I'm going to use onions, uh, peppers, and peas. These are speed. I'm pretty sure onions and peppers are speed and um, they are all pre-dyed. So not only have I gone with frozen, I've gone with already cut up as well. Uh, peas are not speed, but I do believe they are um, protein. So you're getting two bits of speed food and uh, at least some, some useful other veg. What you can do as well is the, the bird's eye sunshine mix bags that mix up things like um, carrots and sweet corn and that kind of stuff. Chuck another one of them in there if you want to as well, why not? Or put them on the side or mix it in afterwards or whatever. So those are the kind of the main ingredients in terms of the, the meat and veg. Obviously you'll need your Diet Pepsi, um, Fry Light, and then like I say, these are the um, the pinch of non recipe. So ginger, um, five spice, Worcestershire sauce, dark soy sauce, uh, garlic, chicken stock, and I've got ginger here as well, but it says that it, the recipe that I'm using asks you for like half a stem of ginger for the sake of uh, simplicity, I've gone with pre-prepared stuff and then again with the garlic it asks you to crush three cloves or something like that but again for simplicity I've gone for that. There is a chicken stock cube um, that's on the side because it's been dissolving and then obviously a little bit of salt um, just to flavour and stuff. So that's kind of it, that's the, uh, the main ingredients. I will link to the original recipe down in the comments so you can do, I think that uses like uh, slight, obviously fresh green peppers and it has baby corn and that kind of stuff in it but I'm just going to stick with uh, with these so I'm going to get the sauce prepared and then I'll put the chicken in afterwards so let's see how badly I can uh, I can mess this up okay so unfortunately um, the recipe is actually on my phone and I'm using my phone to um, to film so what I have got is I've got the basics written down I kind of think I know what I'm doing but at the same time, I kind of don't. So, um, and all the ingredients on the table behind me. So if I drop out a little bit, I apologize. So first thing, is that even, is that good? Yeah, good. Um, put the gas on. Now I'm gonna put it on medium-ish for now. We can always change that. And I've gone for the sunflower. 
um, high, not high fi fry light spray. I have, however, got the, um, what's the camera? Was the, there we are, the barbecue one. If you want to use the barbecue one, you can do. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it's gonna taste like if I use the barbecue one. I have used it with the sunflower stuff before, so I'm gonna use sunflower. And I won't talk throughout this entire video, by the way. It won't be a half an hour video. I'll show you the first bits and then <clears throat> we'll skip through bits. So if the, if the volume of the recording isn't great, um, then just watch what I'm doing. And then future videos may not follow this pattern. I always like it to heat the pan up for a few seconds first and then put the fryer on. And as the saying goes, you can squirt till it hurts with this. That's a ridiculous phrase. What I should have done as well is opened all of the packaging, which I haven't done, which is a rookie mistake really, but we'll do onions first. And again, I don't suppose it really matters um, how much you put in. These are going to be fairly clumped together, I would imagine, because they're frozen. So. The good thing is, though, because they're frozen, you can stick them all in the pan together. You don't have to wait for the onions to sweat or anything. There might be a bit of water that you'll have to drain off, but that's fine. I'm going to leave the peas until a bit later on, though. And there you go, the peppers. And that's probably too much, but never mind. And this is just on a medium heat. So this is at the start. Shit. I guess I'm tightening up the uh, tripod a little bit. Yeah. So this is trying to get a shadow that way at the start. And what you'll find as well is because there's water in them, they do tend to reduce. So while it looked like there was a lot there, it will kind of reduce that. Unfortunately, um, the lights above my stove are broken. The, the bulbs have gone, but there should be enough light there. But yes, yeah, so you can see they've kind of reduced, they've reduced in size. So there's not quite as, um, not quite as much of a disaster as it may have originally seemed. Uh, just a note as well, the original recipe did mention um, puree, but I'm a dweeb and didn't pick any up because I completely misread it, so I'm just going to use passata. I don't suppose it really matters, you could probably get rid of this altogether, but I figured I'd see, it's an experiment, so why not? Also another thing is once you've used the frozen ingredients, get them back in the freezer, because obviously the more they are out, the more they will melt and they'll just start... Um, leaving wet everywhere so i mean that's a fairly obvious thing to say but once you've used your ingredients stick them back in the freezer so you don't get this uh, kind of water everywhere okay so what i'm going to do now is add the garlic and ginger and again this is really up to you you can follow the ingredients as you if you want as or as much as you want i'm just going to put a little bit of, of ginger in and then i'm not going to be too liberal ginger everywhere but i'm going to put just a little bit of probably not three cloves Do. I'm not a massive garlic fan, but that should then just kind of. Okay, so I've got my uh, measuring spoons. I'm going to put one, with this particular recipe, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then it's two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. Uh, don't ask me what the difference is between dark and light soy sauce because I really don't know. Okay, you're supposed to use this Chinese five spice to actually season the chicken, but as the chicken's frozen, I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of it straight in. And then, yeah, I say it looks not the nicest. 
but once you get your Diet Pepsi in, it'll be fine. And yeah, I used the whole bottle, but it's only a 375, can you see that 375 mil bottle? Uh, it does say in the ingredients to use a can, so this is slightly bigger than a can, I think. I think they're like 330, but not by much. And I do like um, the sauce. I, I prefer to put a, a bit of sauce in at the beginning, uh, like now, and then let it thicken down a bit more. So I'd rather have too much liquid and thicken it down than end up with it kind of drying out. So for now, I think we're good. Okay, so the website or the app or uh, Google app on the phone, on my phone, just decided to freeze on me. So uh, I put the Passata in, which is my substitute for the puree, and now I'm going to put the stock in. So you only want to use half of the stock cube, and I'm just going to guess because why not? That'll do. Everything else has been sheer guesswork. Why not this? And, and then the actual stock pot chuck all of that in and these never come out like they do on the uh, adverts do they i don't want to chuck the plastic in because i don't particularly want diet coke plastic come on maybe we'll edit this bit out tell you what if all else fails get a knife and stab yourself with it no don't really just go around the outsides of this and plop it in and that should just sort itself out maybe give it a helpful like they do in the advert. There we are. And then you'll just let this, I put it on about medium heat, you kind of let this simmer down until it uh, begins to thicken and then we'll add the chicken in. Chicken doesn't take that long and the peas as well, the peas only take two or three minutes so we'll stick them in uh, later on if if at all. We might, might even, uh, I know that you get peas in the sunshine mix bag from bird's eye so we might just um, I might just use that instead and put these in, put them in afterwards. So that's pretty much it. I may have used a little bit too much liquid, or it might seem like I've used too much liquid. That's fine. It will simmer down and thicken up. So I'm going to leave that on a medium heat to uh, to simmer down a little bit. Okay, I'm starting to thicken up now. So experiment. I'm going to start adding the chicken, and again. You add as much as you as you want and then just cook this chicken slowly. That will do for me. Might even get two portions out of it. And then I'll just put your chicken back in the freezer. Okay, that's done. It's reduced down a little. I really, I like a really, really thick sauce. Almost like there's no, there's a little bit of liquid left in the bottom, but it's just coated everything. It's not even a sauce anymore. It's just a coating. That's absolutely perfect for me. So <clears throat> let's plate it up and see what it looks like. The chicken is cooked. I have just tried it. It is absolutely fine. So you could put yours in a little bit earlier if you wanted to, but when I put it in, it was fine. And it's been about ten minutes. So there it is. Diet Coke chicken cooked entirely with, well, frozen main ingredients. If you can hear that rumbling in the background, that's the uh, the microwave. I've got some sunshine veg in there. I decided not to put the peas in in the end because uh, there's peas, sweet corn and carrots in this sunshine veg pack. So it does look um, a little bit less appetizing, I would say, than maybe if you'd use fresh ingredients because everything kind of wilts and withers. There's so much water in it once the water comes out. <coughs> Excuse me, it's left a little bit um, kind of not very nice looking, but chicken's cooked fully, it's all heated, the, the, the sauce is reduced really nice to that kind of level of thickness that I like. You might want to put it as a, uh, a bit more thickness. I've just used a VT microwavable pack of basmati rice, um, so it's like two sins, I think, no more than two. Uh, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give it a taste test in a second and I shall report back uh, shortly. So, final verdict. That was really, really nice. That tasted just like Diet Coke chicken. Uh, I know that sounds like a really daft thing to say, but it did. <clears throat> Obviously there are some 
um, differences. The vegetable does taste a little bit, uh, not rubbery, I suppose rubbery because it's frozen, so you're going to get a little bit less in terms of that. The chicken is fine, uh, it depends on, if you buy top quality chicken breast from Asda or Tesco or Butcher or whatever, that's obviously going to be different. This is frozen stuff, but for frozen meat, it's not too stringy. It's not too um, kind of, it's not too, what's the word? Um, like you've got decent bits of chicken, you've not got gristle or anything, that's the word, you've not got gristle or anything like that. Uh, but it was from Iceland, which is pretty decent stuff anyway, and it was a fiver for a kilogram, so that, you know, it's, if you go and get the cheap stuff, the cheap frozen stuff, you're probably gonna find that the chicken's, the quality is a bit less. But I'm happy with that, so Iceland chicken. The rice was the microwavable stuff, so you can have, uh, it will, sorry, it will cost you sins. If you want the whole thing to be free, you can use boil in the bag rice or just not have rice at all. I think rice works really well with it. <clears throat> you might want to use different vegetables. Um, peppers and onions I quite like. Admittedly, it would be nicer with the fresh ingredients. I'm not gonna deny that, but as a quick evening meal, if you've just come home and you think, I really fancy Diet Coke chicken, I find it's always helpful to have those ingredients in your freezer. And that took no time at all. It was dead easy. I had to kind of rework uh, um, the order of things because the, the, you could have browned off the chicken first but with it being frozen I, w I wasn't really wanting to do that I wanted to kind of cook it all the way through at, at the time it needed it and I could have probably put it in the um, in the sauce a little bit earlier because I think the sauce maybe thickened a little bit too much while I was waiting for the chicken to fully cook but it was a first attempt and although it wasn't perfect it also um, I may have cooked the peppers and the onions a little bit too long in the beginning because by the time it's got to the end they were beginning to kind of uh, burn and stick so try and get your your liquids in there a little bit quicker maybe <clears throat> but it worked um, so yeah you can make diet coke, a good tasting quality decent diet coke chicken from all um, scratch ingredients uh, sorry all from frozen ingredients so it's really up to you it, just, it depends on how much you are willing to take it I'm not gonna lie there's a little bit of a dip in the quality because it is frozen but for speed if you want to have a uh, diet coke chicken on a random rainy wednesday night in the middle of november and you don't want to go out and get all the ingredients or whatever you've got some frozen chicken fillets in the freezer but you know that they need to defrost and you won't be able to eat it till tomorrow have some frozen stuff on on hand and see what happens so let me know um see what other dishes there are available um if you liked this particular style of doing it i, I might have put um, I might do them in a slightly different style next time depending on what you think but let me know what you thought of the video and I'll see you next time.